the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you're already a Windows 10 user and you would like to upgrade to Windows 11, that upgrade is available for free with some caveats. There are some very specific system requirements that you need to meet in order to run Windows 11 on your PC. Your PC needs to have 1 GHz of CPU, 4 GB of RAM, and 64 GB of storage. If you're not sure if your PC meets these requirements, then there is a simple check that you can do. If you jump into Settings on your PC, and go to the About section, at the top here you're going to see your device specifications. Bear in mind that I am using Windows 11, but in Windows 10 you still need to go to System Settings and About to find this information. And you can see at the top here, I can see my device name, I can see my processor, so I can see here that I meet the requirements, I can see here my installed RAM, and I can also see that I'm using a 64-bit operating system. So I know from this that my PC can cope with Windows 11. So make sure you jump in here and check. And if you're still not sure if you have a compatible PC, then no worries because Microsoft has a PC Health Check app you can download to check if your system is able to run Windows 11. All you need to do to find that app is jump on to the Windows 11 page on the Microsoft website, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll find this section here. And this is the link you need, Download PC Health Check app. So this is a little app that you'll need to install, it just takes a couple of seconds, and then you can run through that app and it will tell you if your PC is compatible with Windows 11. And if your computer can't be upgraded to Windows 11, you will see the reason why when you run this check. So how can you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11? Well, Windows 11 is a free upgrade to Windows 10 users who have a compatible system and the software will be rolled out slowly over the coming months. So it's quite hard for me to say exactly when the update will be available to you. One way that you can check is to again jump into your system settings, go into Windows Update, and then check for updates. If Windows 11 has been pushed to your PC, then you'll see the update sitting there ready for you to install. And the installation process can take up to an hour, so just be mindful of that prior to installation. So your first way to upgrade to Windows 11 is simply to wait in the queue for your scheduled upgrade from Microsoft. However, if you are impatient like me and you'd like to download it now, you can do that as well by jumping across to the download page from Microsoft. And I've left a handy QR code there which will take you directly to that download page. Your PC will require a restart after you've installed Windows 11, and as with any upgrade to your operating system, you'll be walked through the process of installation. It's also worth noting that there will still be support for Windows 10 up until 2025, but Windows 11 is positioned to become the standard operating system for computers going forward. So once you've downloaded and installed Windows 11, it's time to start exploring some of the new features. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.